welcome everybody today we're gonna make a new project using python so let's begin by writing the name of our project but before that you need to know what we will be making so i think all of you knows what are mario stairs or mario stairs i do not know so it's look like something this so we're gonna make this using python but what we will do is we will represent each block using a hash so let's start by giving it a name mario stairs dot py so let's begin so a hash is this so let's start so mario stair project so let's start so first of all you must write what you need to print so we need something like let's say we represent each space using a dot so our project will be something like we will ask user for a input and then then we will print the number of so let me just comment this and let's write so what this will do so first ask user for height you can say or number of stairs he wants ask user for height or number of stairs so with this done let's start by getting the input from the user so it will be a integer input and what we need to do is we need to ask a user about how many stairs he wants but the number of stairs must not be greater than 10 and less than 0 or equal to 0 and whenever the user inputs a number greater than 10 or less than 0 it must ask again user for input so you must be familiar maybe with the do while loop it's an interesting concept and what it does is it performs a task and then checks for then it checks for the condition so we will be making that so what we need to do is we need to write while true this will run forever and what we need to do is if first of all we need to ask user for input and what i need to do is let's say we store it in user input equals to int it must be an integer only then we ask for input sorry input and we write enter number between 1 and 10 or we can say 0 and 10 for more clarification and we do not need to add a space here because python does it for you so what we need to do is if user wait a minute user input greater than 0 and user input less than 10 then what it need to do is it need to break otherwise else it needs to continue so what break does is it if the condition is true it will break the loop that is it will exit the loop and what does continue means so continue means that it will just leave that point that iteration that means it leaves that step of asking the users for input and just ask again so this is done this is our do while loop to get correct input so this is done now let's begin on our project so let me just tell you something let me just make it big here this is the picture so as you can see what is this so there is rows and columns so you can see it as a 4 by 4 row and column so this is our first tier and then there are two spaces so there are two block space and then are downward stairs so first upward stair downward stairs with space between them so this is the final project so let's think about what we can do so you can think something like uh, this is the end so this is the last column and as you can see it decreases one by one so we can do something like we can check if the column number is equals to the length of the input because you can see we will be inputting getting an input from the user and the column number is 4 here so both are equal and what next thing we need can do is we can just decrease the user input by 1 so that we can get 3 then 2 and then 1 and finally what we can do is we can write if the you can say 
if column number is greater than or equal to user input then it can print a hash so that's done done for this stair so you must be saying rohit you are a genius you figure out in a minute i'm sorry but it took me half a day to just think about the algorithm it was just mind blowing and i was so happy when i first come up with this so we can do is we can just make a function named user input so that we can just simply import it and what we can write is if this is true and this loop is done one thing we can do is we can just return here this will do the work so first of all let's try our code wait a minute user input and we just print our this we just print our code and let's make it a object so that we can call it another time and uh, wait a minute we need to write object here so it asks for an input i say 10 again ask me if i say minus 1 it again ask if i write 0 then again but what if i write 2 it gives me 2 voila we are doing correct yeah <laughs> sound like dubai people but i am from india shut the fuck up no one cares about your robot fan fiction silly me now this is done now what next we need to do let's make our function and let me just remove this we call it stair maker it takes a input the length of the stair so i will say simply length you can give it any name because at last it will get input as user input so what i need to do is i need to go into every row and column and then check so first of all let's access every row so i will write for row in range and i will tell you what this does so do not worry length sorry length first of all what i am doing is i am just looping iterating that means i am going one by one so what this does is this will give row variable a value of range that means it will give it a value from 0 to our user input minus 1 because the last value is always ex excluded in range if you do not understand just rewind the video you will better understand so what we do is first of all row will be 0 so this will be our row 0 then it will be row 1 row 2 and row 3 so this is doing so we are going into every row and then what we need to do is we need to go into every column so this will be first column second third fourth or you can say 0 1 2 3 4 3 sorry 3 up to 3 so what i need to write is four column in range length so i am accessing every column and we have already made our algorithm so what's the next step you must be asking oh rohit i forgot what was the algorithm so what you need to do is for every column we need to check if the column number is equal to or less than sorry or greater than the length this length our user input so what what's the algorithm it's if for better understanding we can use parentheses or you may just ignore them but uh, i like to do them so if column is less sorry greater than equals to length then what it need to do is it need to print a hash so this is kind of okay for me me now else what it need to do is if it's not greater than or equal to this number that is our user input then it needs to print a space but what can i do for visualization you can use print dot so that you can better understand it and let's start by making our object stair maker and then user input so what this does is it calls the user input function 
and it uses this return so this returns user input so it takes this user input as length variable so this is what it's doing so let's print so it's working fine I need to so you must be saying what this doing so we do not need to print anything it will be working fine you can see Rohit this is kind of suspicious why this is printing these many dots so my friend this is kind of something wrong here because as you can see it's printing everything in new line so how to solve that we can use and equals to and nothing because we do not need any new line in python print itself make the new line so whenever we use print and another print both comes in next lines so that's why we do not need any end and same here we do not need any end so let's see so it's kind of okay now but uh, this is kind of wrong so what I need to do is for after every row it must start next row in a next line print backslash n will do the work for us and three voila we are getting our three rows and columns so that's okay we can do something like this also and let's see it's much better so the next thing I want to do is I want to replace these dots with hashes but uh, this is kind of wrong here because it's not printing our hash at the end so let's think so we are checking for length let's try for row because length is up to 4 but row is up to 3 so row and columns are same row and column takes same input from 0 to 3 0 1 2 and 3 excluding 4 but length takes up to 4 that's the wrong part here let's see and voila we are getting something so row and column are equal but this is kind of this stair not this one so what I need to do is I need to change my algorithm and write something like this and now let's see it's printing a downstairs not a downstairs this is printing its vertically flipped version so I need to come up with something else wait a minute we are not decreasing its value that's why it's doing wrong so let's try what we can do but that way this will cause a problem let me show you what it will cause minus equals to 1 and let's see nothing changed why because it's decreasing row by 1 but then nothing changed because row is again getting the value changed in this loop that's why nothing changed so we need to create a separate variable so we will create test stair named variable and we will store it value of let's use row and let's change this variable by one after every column sorry after every row and uh, nothing changed let me see nothing changed uh, what we can do is let's see again if column is greater than equals to row okay we need to write here test here that's why it's doing wrong and uh, greater than equals to no nothing changed so we are using here row instead we need to use length minus one for three that's the wrong thing we were doing and let's just delete both of these and let's run our code again and when i write three it's printing something column must be greater than equals to test here and we are getting hashes at the end let's just take it outside now let's try it now as you can see it's working the problem here was that after every row it's just making test tier again length minus one that's the problem so we have got our first tier 
now next thing what i need to do is i need to add two spaces that simply we can do by after every column i can just write print and two doors and this will do the trick you can see our code is working now the next thing i need to do is after this column or you can say after these three columns i need another iteration for our next years and next year is very simple it's a piece of cake man piece of cake <laughs> see me for column again we can use just the variable or you can say for stair sorry that will cause the error because i need to change again and again i can just write for stair to in row so in range my keyboard just suck man and uh, what i need to do next is if column less than equals to row because in next case what we need to do is for every column must be equals to row that's way we can get these blocks sorry we can get these blocks the st stairs on which we can step and next thing we need to do is we need to get these other blocks to which which are behind these ones so for that one first of all the row will be zero here and the column will be zero so this will be printed in the next case row will be one and column will be one at this point but we need column zero two so that will be less than row two that's what we are doing here less than or equal to row simply print a hash and end must be nothing and then if this condition is not true it will print simply dot and you can see three and it's throwing some error okay we need to write here and equals to this two and uh, let's see it's kind of working but uh, there is some error sorry it's not column it's here too just silly me and uh, now again so you can see the problem is not in this code you can see it's printing up to this two dots but it printing in next line the other code so that's the problem here so in the languages like c it's very easy to print something make something like this because c doesn't do anything without our permission <laughs> but python sometimes python is really hard sometimes c is really hard it's just way we have to do so you can say our function is working our program is working we are doing great we have done our work let's celebrate by liking this video and subscribing to our channel yeah <laughs> so you can see our stairs are printing same so that's the algorithm if you want to see these kind of projects and use them in your cv and impress your interviewer then like share and subscribe this is our channel we are close to 200 please just make it 200 and you can watch these videos too like share and subscribe and see you in the next video